Hello and welcome to another of my competition build showcases. Today I will be showcasing my apple pie build. I will be showing you how it's performing, showing you what every building is making, talk about some improvements you can make to this to get an even higher production rate, then show you what auto trade looks like and then show you what it looks like on the visualizer. So let's get started. This design is doing 56.5 apple pies per hour. It has been running for 16 hours so that rate is very stable. I was planning to make another adjustment to this to take it over 60 per hour. And I can assure you, if you make this adjustment, it will do at least 60 per hour, maybe 62 per hour, which I'll show you after I explain how this build works. I'm going to scroll through the production monitor just so you can see everything, but I will go over the important production here, the important items. So apples are at 283 per hour, and that is actually the bottleneck. That's what it's stopping it it's from making more apple pies. We got butter at 63.7 per hour, so we could potentially make somewhere around 60 63 apple pies per hour at most. We have cornstarch at 122, flour 122, milk 127, salt 132, sugar 88, and we are slightly overproducing wood in this build, which is not that bad of a thing, but you could probably get by with one less tree. That's all that means. This design should give you an idea of what to aim for when you are trying to make your own apple pie build. You're going to need a lot of space for the apple trees and you're going to need several windmills making different items in order to get everything you need to make the apple pies. So let's start at the crops starting with what we have the most of and that would be apple trees. There are a total of 30 apple trees in this build. There are 10 tree farms, 2 sugarcane fields, 2 wheat fields. There are 9 corn fields. The corn fields are all on a red or yellow timer. So these 7 over here are on a red craft timer because they're affected by you know shade dirty salty everything basically these two are actually on the yellow craft timer this one having two shade and this one having one shade but all in all all those corn fields give me all the corn production rate i need for the roughly 60 apple pies per hour that i could potentially make next i have six salt fields they're next to the ocean so they are on a green craft timer for the livestock i only have four milk barns and they're able to make all the milk that i need to make and there's a total of 24 meadows for those cows to feast upon. For the buildings, we have five cakeries that are in the process of making apple pies. And there are two bakeries that are making the butter. For the windmills, we have a total of 16 windmills. Two of those windmills are making sugar on a green craft timer. And that would be these two right here. Three windmills are making salt on a green craft timer. That would be this one, this one, and this one and we have two windmills making flour on a green craft timer that would be this one and that one then we have the other nine windmills making cornstarch two of them are on a green craft timer and that would be this one and this one the other seven windmills are all on a red craft timer over here because they're being affected by shade and all of those are making cornstarch let's take a look at the workers so we have seven tractors scattered around the town we have five loggers we we have two ATVs and one forklift. As for the storage, we have two silos, four storehouses, which is plenty of storage for all the items, one warehouse in charge of just holding the energy. You don't actually need this in the end, so you could replace it. Same with the lumber yard, you don't need it in the end. And if you plan on keeping it, probably jam it with lumber. That way, you don't have any wood going into it, so it won't slow down your windmills or your ATVs. And of course, we have a fuel storage for gasoline petroleum and crude oil for the gasoline setup we have the standard passive gasoline setup with two water pumps two power plants the refinery in between them making gasoline and the refinery to the side making petroleum we don't have an oil seep so there is no passive crude oil so we have to use oil pumps there are a total of six oil pumps scattered around the town which is no problem because the forklift will just go wherever it needs to go to pick up the crude oil and these oil pumps can be next to the wind mills because they, they cast three dirty yes but they do not cast any shade so it is convenient to place them in spots close to the windmills since we don't want any other buildings there casting shade on those windmills and slowing them down but we do have to be careful not to put them too close to any milk barns as that would slow those down so they're in just the right spots right there now we also have a lumber mill which of course is used to make the lumber whenever you're building some of these buildings but in the end you don't actually need this so you could replace it for something else 
and we have one trade depot taking care of all the trades in this build for this competition trade time is 20 seconds so you should have no issues with just one trade depot and there are no issues with the amount of gasoline that's being made it's more than plenty for all the sales for auto trade you can set all of your crops to have an auto trade at amount of 10 and all the other items can be set to 12 with the exception of apple pies you can set that to 10 since you can sell that one right away but the other items like salt flour sugar can be set to 12 that way you can always have two extra items to work with in case you're in the process of using them for something and of course you don't have to auto sell gasoline petroleum crude oil energy or lumber in this design normally i show you the visualizer at this point which i will in the moment don't worry but i want to explain how you can further improve this design unfortunately i didn't have time to test this for you but i'm pretty sure it'll work so yes this design is doing 56.5 apple pies per hour but i'm pretty sure you can easily take it up to 60 per hour with this improvement that i'm about to tell you you could potentially bring it up to 63.7 per hour just based off the amount of butter that is being produced anything higher than that will require you to make adjustments to say the adding another milk barn or another windmill somehow or more crops so that's more complicated but you can definitely take this up to 63.7 apple pies per hour all you need to do is just add more apple trees and in order to add more apple trees you need to optimize some space better and i will show you what this looks like on the visualizer of course but first let me explain it to you here so like i mentioned these three buildings are optional you don't need them now for this to work you just need to take away your warehouse and your lumber mill you're going to take away these two logger houses and move them over here so you have your two logger houses here you can go ahead and keep the lumber yard here but you still don't need it um in order to build these lo uh, logger houses of course you'll need lumber and you'll need energy so you'll need to temporarily build a warehouse over here somewhere uh probably make sure that you have this full of lumber before you make this adjustment and then you're going to move these roads over here so this is going to be your main road here you're going to keep this road here actually because you want to follow this setup right here you're going to have ponds here and here and possibly another one over here you'll see on the visualizer and that's going to buy you more space and you'll be able to fit in a total of three more apple trees if you do this each apple tree gives you roughly two more apple pies that's about how it works really i like to say it's closer to 1.9 apple pies because the tractor has to go to the apple tree to collect it so there's some time lost there but yeah three more apple trees can potentially increase your rate by six more apple pies so you should see up to around 62 apple pies per hour with this improvement right there i didn't have time to test it unfortunately but i'm pretty sure it's going to work so that's why i'm labeling this build able to do up to 62 apple pies per hour now let's take a look at how it looks like on the visualizer here is what the build looks like on the visualizer total cost is 10.6 million cash wages are 13,470 per minute but you will have no issue with the wages in this build design and now i'm going to show you what it looks like with the improvements that i made you'll be able to see a second stage that says apple pie improvement and that'll be it so with the improvements the total cost is actually slightly lower only because we removed the lumber mill in the warehouse wages are or should be the same and in this improvement you can see that we managed to add three more apple trees so we used to have 30 apple trees and now we have 33 apple trees the sugarcane fields got pushed back a little but since sugarcane is overproduced that should be no problem it should still be making the same amount of sugar that needs to be made and everything else should be about the same i'm sure you can find out how to make further improvements to other things but this should at least get you three more apple trees and push you to over 60 apple pies per hour and of course you can find a file to this visualizer on my discord server and the link to my discord server is in the description of the video no nfts are required in order to reach this production rate however passive water nfts will help a lot as it will allow you to get by with less ponds and more apple trees for a higher apple production rate and there you have it a design that does 56.5 apple pies per hour with a way to improve it to over 60 apple pies per hour and the opportunity is there to get 
up to 63.7 apple pies per hour if you manage to find a way to fit in another apple tree. Like I said, passive water NFTs will help a lot here. A wheat stand may be able to help you with your flour production or your milk production if you manage to use feed mills. And of course, Miranda skins always provide a great competitive advantage, especially here since it'll reduce the craft time of your apple trees and increase the movement speed of your tractors, allowing your tractors to actually go to the apple trees faster and pick them up, which actually helps out your apple production rate even further. I hope my build showcase was able to help you out by providing you an idea for an apple pie design for the upcoming competition. Hopefully you can find a way to improve this even further or create your own design that is much better than this one. I hope you found this helpful or informative. If you did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't done so so you don't miss out on my content. And if you ever want to help support the channel, you can just click that link in the description of the video. And if you ever decide to purchase something from the Galley Game Store, it will help support. So thank you so much. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.